Welcome to our lecture online. In a previous video, I made the assertion that the magnitude of the line current was equal to the square root of 3 times the magnitude of the phase current. The phase currents are the currents through the loads, and then the line current is the current that feeds from the source to the load. So how do we make sure that we can say for certain that that's indeed the case? So what we're going to do is go back to what we discovered in the previous video, that we had the line currents IA, IB, and IC in terms of the phase currents through the load. Now what we're going to do is realize through a phase diagram that there's some relationship between the magnitudes, they're all the same, but then they have phase directions that are different and when we take that into account we can see the relationship between them in that way. We can also then make things simpler by assuming that the magnitude of IAB for an ICA and IBC is equal to 1. Just normalize it to 1 and then we're going to find everything else in terms of that which means that the components of IBC in the x direction, in the horizontal direction, we can see that this is 1 half, and in the vertical direction you can see that's the square root of 3 over 2 based upon the angles. So now we're going to take I, which is equal to IAB minus ICA, and write that in terms of the relationship there. So we're going to take this one right here and write that IA is equal to IAB minus ICA. But ICA is this component right here, which is the same as IAB with a 240 degree phase lag. So this can also be written as IAB with a phase lag of minus 240 degrees. So instead of writing ICA, I'm going to write IAB with a phase angle of minus 240, which is the phase angle from there to there, minus 240. Then if you also see here that this is the vertical component of ICA, which is also the square root of 3 over 2, but in a positive direction. So, of course, the vertical direction is the imaginary direction, the horizontal direction is the real direction. So then we can factor out an I, IAB. So this is equal to IAB times 1 minus 1 with a phase angle of minus 240 degrees. Again, assuming that the magnitudes are normalized to 1. Now I can replace this with the real and imaginary components. But remember, I'm subtracting that. So this is equal to IAB times 1 minus, and you can see here that's going to be a minus 1 half because it's a negative direction, and then in a positive direction plus J times the square root of 3 over 2. And so you can see that the magnitude IA relative to the phase current IAB can be determined by finding out the magnitude of this component. So let's simplify that. So IA is equal to IAB times 1 plus 1 half, and this negative applies to this negative, which is minus J squared of 3 over 2. Combining that, this is equal to IAB times 3 over 2 minus j the square root of 3 over 2. So let's find out what that magnitude is. So to find the magnitude of this, that is equal to the square root of 3 over 2 squared plus the square root of 3 over 2 quantity squared. So in other words, that this is equal to the square root of 9 over 4 plus 3 over 4, which is the square root of 12 over 4, which is the square root of 3. So in other words, what we can conclude then, that IA, which is the line current, is equal to IAB times the square root of 3. In other words, we can see that the magnitude of the line current is equal to the square root of 3 times the magnitude of the phase current, which is clearly seen right here that IL, the line current, is equal to the square root of 3 times I phase. And that should be a P right here. And of course, that's the magnitude. Direction-wise, we know that the line current lags the phase current by 30 degrees. So you can see, then if I were to draw the line current in here, this would be I sub A, and there would be a phase lag of minus 30 degrees relative to the phase current 
but magnitude-wise, the line current is the square root of 3 times the phase current, which can be clearly seen when you work it out on the phase diagram. And that is how it's done.